tell you, I don't know that there's anybody that loves to play more than Vladimir Guerrero Jr. When Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is at his best, he's one of the best in the game. He drives it to left field, and do you believe it? Nobody quite evaporates baseballs like Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Yeah, I don't know that anybody does fun and intense quite as well as Guerrero does. Must be fun to be that good. Welcome back. I understand you used to work with Teoscar Hernandez's trainer, but this offseason, Vladdy, you decided to switch things up and started working with Nicole Gabriel. How different was the two in, I guess, their focus on getting you to be the way you look coming into spring? Yeah. Uh, I just look for something different, you know, like uh, back in the day, it's more like lift and all this stuff. This is just more movement, uh, balance, and speed. Did you come into camp with a different mindset? I'm not, I'm not young anymore. I'm veteran now, so I know I don't want to think like a young. I just showed up like I can play, and that's why I'm here. Before we move ahead, I want to ask you about your experience during the arbitration hearing, something that you haven't done before or experienced before. It's a bit of an eyebrow raiser as we've just learned the Blue Jays and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will head to arbitration. Vladdy wanted 20 million, the Jays offered 18. A panel of three arbiters said, you know what, Vladdy, but we think you deserve the raise. What did you think of the whole experience and, and what did you think about the process? I mean, uh, that's part of the business, you know, is uh, you, you have to understand what happened, you know. Uh, I mean, we had a, a conversation. I told them I not got half feeling for them, you know. I, I just trying to work and do, and put a good year. You talk about being a veteran. What do you think your role is in 2024 on this team? I mean, uh, I'm the type of player I don't like talk too much. I don't like be a leader too much. But I think this year I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna do it and, and uh, I'm gonna try to be a vocal a little bit more and try to help the, my teammates when, when they've when they been. When we talk about this team and you talk about being vocal, Bo has told us that he spoke um, in front of his teammates. Have you had that experience? Have you spoken out about anything in particular this spring to your teammates? Uh, this spring, no. Me and Bo, we, we close friends, we like brothers, you know, and and I talk with him and how he speaks better English than me. So I told him and he told the, to the team. So it's oh. like Bo talk, Bo I'm talk too. But they, they, this year I'm gonna be my vocal. You know, like Bo say something, I'm gonna say something too. I think we're just, we're, we're a hungry team and we want to be better and, and we need to be better. We've always had high expectations, and um, I think it's definitely a different mindset trying to prove people right than trying to prove people wrong. Do you feel like 2024 is a, a critical, a crucial time for you and Bo and this team? I say yes, because we got almost five years in the big league, and, mm. and we go to a playoff three times, I mean, to a World Cup three times, you know, and and every time you remember that, that's, that hurt, you know, you don't want to feel it like that, so... This whole season, we work hard, and we say the first day we get here, like, oh, this is the year, you know, I, let's go give it all. We, we're not young anymore. We always, in the minors, we always winning, you know, we're winning. I don't want to be losing every time, you know, it's that, that, that mind gets changed, and everybody, everybody in the same page here in the clubhouse. Let's go back to the home run for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he gets back into the dugout and Hector LeBron gives him a big hug and then pretends to put the jacket on him. But there, <laughs> there's no home run jacket anymore. They have toned it down significantly. Last year, whenever you hit a home run, mm -hmm. um, Tito LeBron would, would pretend he was putting a home run jacket on you. Is that going to be the plan this year? What would you like to do in celebration of a home run? Bueno, I mean, bueno. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we uh, we working in that. I just I just want to bring the jacket back, you know, and uh, we working in that to bring the jacket back or do uh, something for the the 
I don't know, like play in the one and yeah. do it. Uh, probably I do it by myself in the corner, you know, like uh, Tito pulled me last yeah. year without Jackie. Yeah. I probably do him in the corner and put in put it for me, you know, and uh but I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun and I'm gonna have fun this year. Have we seen the best of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. yet? I don't think so. You know, I don't think so. I think eighteen is a lot of up and down and it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be a good year this year. I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Your English is better than mine. <laughs>